12 has always been precocious, but she's got a good head on her shoulders, and I like it when she uses it, so I couldn't understand it when her mother called me in tears yesterday. I said, Elizabeth, what's wrong? She said, it's Annie. Now, I love my family, and I've read my Bible from cover to cover, so I want you to tell me, from what part of Holy Scripture do you suppose the lambs of God drew their divine inspiration when they sent my 12-year-old granddaughter a Raggedy Ann doll with a knife stuck through its throat? You'll denounce these people, Al. You'll do it publicly. And until you do, you can all get your fat asses out of my White House. CJ, show these people out. I believe we can find the door. Find it now. It was nine months, Abby, not six months, and I waited a day on Skippy because the Fed chair is a fairly important position, and I wanted to make damn sure my decision was right. You already made your decision. How the hell do you know? You just said so. I name Ron Ehrlich now, which I was going to do anyway, and it looks like I'm taking instructions from my wife. Yes. 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 OK. So just ease up on the high ground. On that point, I concede the high ground. And I concede I was wrong about the thing. Good. However. No, no, however, just be wrong. Just stand there in your wrongness and be wrong and get used to it. However. Nine months, Abby. However. Yes. I'm still going to kick your ass on child labor. Abby, please. Chad. If it was one of our girls in that factory, you'd send in the Marines. I'm giving mine away. To whom? To whom? Funny you should ask. Charlie, my father gave this to me, and his father gave it to him. And now I'm giving it to you. Take a look. The fully tapered bolster allows for sharpening the entire edge of the blade. It says PR. I thought I knew them all, but I don't recognize the manufacturer. Yeah, these were made for my family by a Boston silversmith named Paul Revere. Mr. President. I'm proud of you, John. Thank you, sir. You know, we're coming up to the good part. Dad, people are trying to watch the movie. You want to bet me your tuition, no one in this room is going to shush me? I hear you're thinking about ophthalmology. Oncology. Why do you want to study people's feet? That's podiatry. And what's children's medicine? Pediatrics. I thought it was obstetrics. That's pregnant women. And what's the study of feet? Dad, you're not going to get me to laugh. Really? The only thing you ever had to do to make me happy was come home at the end of the day. That's not enough to buy me out of the doghouse? Hey, Kratom, Adeo Pio. Adeo Justo. Adeo Shito. Cruciatos and Crucem. Tu es in terra servos nuntias fui, officium perfecce. Cruciatos and Crucem. Eas and Crucem. You get horns. Toby mentioned to me that when each interview was over, all the interviewers wanted to talk to you about was Richie, and you took a pass each time until Philadelphia. Mr. President, is it possible you saw the green light was on?
was old school. Go knock him dead. The streets of heaven are too crowded with angels tonight. There are students and our teachers and our parents and our friends. The streets of heaven are too crowded with angels. But every time we think we've measured our capacity to meet a challenge, we look up and we're reminded that that capacity may well be limitless. This is a time for American heroes. We will do what is hard. We will achieve what is great. This is a time for American heroes and we reach for the stars. God bless their memory. God bless you. And God bless the United States of America. Thank you. Well, first of all, let's clear up a couple of things. Unfunded mandate is two words, not one big word. There are times when we're 50 states and there are times when we're one country and have national needs. And the way I know this is that Florida didn't fight Germany in World War II or establish civil rights. You think states should do the governing wall to wall. That's a perfectly valid opinion. But your state of Florida got $12.6 billion in federal money last year from Nebraskans and Virginians and New Yorkers and Alaskans with their Eskimo poetry. 12.6 out of a state budget of 50 billion. I'm supposed to be using this time for a question, so here it is. Can we have it back, please? Game on! Oh my God. Thank you, Matt, for all that. Anybody want to spin? Sam's going to be promoted to senior counselor if he loses the 47th. I don't know what to say. That's what you want to hear from your new communications I deputy? Accept. There's a promise that I ask everyone who works here to make. Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful and committed citizens can change the world. You know why? It's the only thing that ever has. William Bailey, reposing special trust and confidence in your integrity, prudence, and ability, I designate you to the post of Deputy White House, Director of Communications, and Special Assistant to the President. And I do authorize you to execute and fulfill the duties of that office with all the powers and privileges and subject to the conditions prescribed. It is affirmed by my signature. fixed with the seal of the United States. And it is done so on this day and in this place. Congratulations. Tomorrow.